Hello and welcome, this is Jit Dolaki and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. Australia prepares for more wet weather as rain breaks record. Authorities in the Australian state of Queensland have stepped up efforts to deliver essential supplies to stranded residents in the town of Thargominda after the Bulu River peaked at 5.4 meters on Sunday following the town's wettest day in 21 years. As food and other items were being flown or ferried in the western outback town, Bulu Mayor said the water had brought plenty of flies and mosquitoes but spirit remained high. Meanwhile, Northern Australia will see an increase in rain in coming days as the seasonal rain gathers strength. At this time of the year, known as the wet season, the wind changed direction and blow towards the north of the country, cooling the air and bringing relief from the heat with accompanying rain. Once the weather pattern develops, wind, rain and thunderstorms increases over the Northern Territory and to the far north of Queensland. Widespread weekly rainfall totals between 100 to 200 mm can be expected and some areas could pick up as much as 300 mm. Damaging winds are also possible with gusts over 90 km per hour and the waves and tides will rise leading to a risk of coastal flooding and land erosion. The wet season also increases the chances of tropical cyclone development. Several forecast models indicate possible cyclone formation in the warm water of the Cap York Peninsula by the end of the week. Whilst the various models show the potential for a cyclone, the forecast track is less certain. The Australian Bureau of Meteorology has meanwhile released the seasonal outlook for rainfall and the news is positive. The latest forecast models suggest that Near to above average rainfall is likely between April and July for large parts of northern, central and southern Australia, including drought striking areas in the southeast. This is one of the best seasonal rainfall outlooks for some time and could bring consecutive months of above average rain that is needed in many drought affected areas. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Jit Dolakia. For more weather updates like this, do like, share and subscribe to our channel.